Hurricane Dorian is moving further up north and South Carolina coast right now. And as it gets closer to Hampton Roads, people are bracing for strong winds, rain and flooding. Schools across our area have already announced no classes tomorrow. Good afternoon, everyone. This is 13 News Now at noon. I'm Dan Kennedy. And I'm Ashley Smith. Let's head right over to meteorologist Tim Pandagis and Rochelle Peer. They're both here now with the latest up the update, I should say, on Hurricane Dorian. We're starting with Rochelle. Yeah, we're going to take a look at the watchers. We're actually no watches anymore. Everyone is under some form of warning, whether it's a tropical storm warning or a hurricane warning. That hurricane warning in the purple and this orange color indicating a tropical storm warning. And that's for all of Southside Hampton Roads, the peninsulas, and the eastern shore as well. We're watching our North Carolina of counties for that hurricane warning. Also have flash flood watch in effect that will start at 8 p.m. tonight, go through tomorrow evening. That's for most of the area and then storm surge also going to be a big issue across south side and for our neighbors down into northeastern North Carolina and even farther south than that. So talking about storm surge, this is what we're expecting at this point. Two to four feet of storm surge up from the Albemarle Sound to areas north and then farther down toward the south as you head toward Hatteras and areas south of that four to six feet of of storm surge. So again, that's what we're expecting right now. Going to send it over to Tim for what's going on now and what we can expect over the next day or so. Hey, Rochelle, we got the 11 o'clock advisory that did downgrade the storm once again to a category two. Now think of it this way. We're splitting hairs here. We dropped the sustained winds by five. In fact, the 12 o'clock, we're right back up to category three storm now, actually 115 mile per hour winds there with gusts up to 130 at the 11 o'clock. They actually put it back down to a category two. So some uh, strengthening there moving off to the northeast there right along the coast of South Carolina. We're looking at it on radar here. You can see that eye heavy squalls moving inland over Charleston and throwing a lot of winds on shore as you get towards the North Carolina line and even north of there. We have tornado watch boxes up because there's already that spin in the atmosphere and we've seen numerous tornado warnings already through the Wilmington area earlier this morning. Here's the latest track on it from the National Hurricane Center it takes it pretty much right over Cape Lookout and then Cape Hatteras as we get into late tonight and early tomorrow morning. Still at that point, a category two storm with winds of 100 miles per hour, but that wind field is quite large at that point, picks up forward speed and zips out of here rather quickly. Here's how it looks on Futurecast. A lot of clouds out there today. A few isolated showers as we get into late this evening, but really starting to build the rain in here overnight tonight with the heaviest of it again farther south and east. Sharp cutoff from like Williamsburg towards Richmond might not see much at all, but the strongest of the winds overnight tonight and through the day on Friday. Here we are at 445. The storm is still just off to our south and southeast and as it pulls away, those winds will start to relax just a little bit. So Dorian's threats are not uniform across our entire area in Virginia. We're looking at wind, but not as strong as what you'll find in North Carolina. High tidal flooding and surge values is a lot, a lot of rain too. low risk for a tornado. However, in North Carolina, a lot more rain tidal and surge flooding also a bigger issue there and strongest of the winds and even that tornado threat is there as well as we look at the storm prediction center put that area down to the south under a level three enhanced risk for those tornadoes to spin up a lot easier in this type of setup for later today as Dorian builds northwards. We'll talk more about how things look once Dorian exits and we'll break down the wind rain and tidal values as we get into tonight and tomorrow in just a few minutes. OK, Tim, thank you. Well, Hurricane Dorian is getting closer and closer to North Carolina. Parts of the Tar Heel State are already feeling some of the storm's effects. Allie Weatherton joins us live in Buxton with how people there are getting ready, including how they're getting some of those much needed hurricane supplies. Allie. Well, Dan, several businesses this morning, including this one behind me, got a shipment of several cases of water. Other businesses are already shut down ahead of the storm, and people say they're just hoping for the best. We're here. <laughs> here in Buxton, North Carolina, delivering supplies to businesses. Hurricane Dorian is inching closer and closer to the Outer Banks, but that's not stopping David Johnson and his co-worker from getting their work done. You just do whatever you got to do, you know. That one thing about this job, you don't never know what you're going to run into. The day is jam-packed for the duo, heading up and down the coast. When we get done with the stores on Highway 12, we go to Kitty Hawk, then we go to Duck, then we go to Point Harbor. And then uh, that'd be our last stop today. And they say together they'll get it done, delivering everything by tonight so they can head back to Newtown, North Carolina and beat the storm. 
And Johnson says as long as NC 12 doesn't wash out, they'll be back here next week. Live in Buxton, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now. Okay, Allie, thank you. Well, now to the Virginia Beach oceanfront. Crews there already getting ready. Now, right now, some people are still soaking up the beach time that they can uh, get before the storm moves in, but officials are warning people to stay out of the water. Our Madison Kimbrough is live at the Virginia Beach oceanfront with more. Madison. Hey, Ashley. Yes, you know, the waves have been rolling in all morning pretty strong. We went to the boardwalk to talk to some people and really hear their thoughts on the hurricane coming to our beach town. It's been a little bit like a ghost town. It's, it's a little scary that there's no one around. Hurricane Dorian is scaring people away from the Virginia Beach oceanfront, but we found some out of state visitors who are riding out the storm. I'm supposed to be here till Tuesday, and I hope that it don't make a major impact. Ahead of the storm, lifeguards move their stands up to the seawall. They're warning everyone to stay off the beach. All right, and it should be known that for Virginia Beach residents, garage parking garages are open for the public, and that's free just in case you didn't want to park your car on the side of the road in case of flooding. All right, sending it back to the news desk live in Virginia Beach, Madison Kimbrough for 13 News Now. Okay, Madison, thanks. You know, they're doing that in Norfolk as well. City officials will open downtown garages at 6 tonight for people living in flood prone areas. So here's the information you need to know. There's free parking in six garages. You're asked not to park in reserve spaces. Also, your car has to be out by Saturday at noon, and you won't be able to use Lime scooters or pace bikes, by the way, during the storm. The city is taking those off the street so they won't fly around when the wind picks up. Scooters will be off the streets starting tonight. Pace bikes shut down at midnight already. Well, now to a warning from Naval Station Norfolk. For anyone who parks on the base, do not leave your car there during the storm. Certain areas on the base are prone to flooding. It could end up looking like this. Now, these are pictures from previous storms. If you absolutely can't avoid parking on the base, park as far away from the piers and waterfront as possible. To help with transportation, Public Works will run a shuttle from the Navy Exchange and the pool.